Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Deborah DeYoung. I'm the Associate Executive Director of Mental Health Association. And I'm here to uh, acknowledge uh, April as Autism Awareness Month. I want to take a moment to thank uh, the Orange County Legislature and Orange County Executive Steve Newhouse for their support uh, to autism and to Mental Health Association. Uh, over 12 years ago, uh, Mental Health Association began uh, an, a movement uh, called the Autism Movathon of Orange County. And this was started from a group of parents who themselves had children with autism who were dedicated to this mission of being able to create awareness for autism. Um, if you learned of the statistics, uh, they're still quite staggering. Uh, one out of 68 individuals, children, are diagnosed with autism. Uh, one out of 50 boys. Uh, in particular, are diagnosed with autism. These are staggering statistics. And we are so fortunate to have a group of dedicated parents whose mission is to continue the awareness efforts in Orange County and raise funds for autism. So I'm very pleased to turn the microphone over to Stacy Orzel uh, and her family. She has a son, uh, Jason, who is a sibling uh, of a a brother with autism, and I think her words will be said best. So, Stacy. Thanks, Debbie. I think this is our sixth year here, but uh, our Monk organization has been in operation proudly for 12 years. This is our 13th year. I'm a very proud mom of my 12 year old son, Jay. He spoke to the group last year, and he has some inspiring words today. This is his younger brother, Eric. We worked with the state to create a Learn the Signs campaign for autism awareness throughout the state. You may see this poster in pediatrician offices, early intervention agencies, and throughout the community and libraries and places to help raise awareness and help a family that may be unsure if a child has a flag, possibly for uh, an autism spectrum diagnosis. So we're very proud of that. We hope uh, in his age and time, he'll be proud too that he helped other families. The Amok organization is a parent-run volunteer group. We're always outreaching for new volunteers. Volunteerism in the community is extremely important. Makes a nice resume piece as well. Uh, we have dispersed over $300,000 in the community in our 12 years in inception. We give a mini stipend of $150 to a child affected with autism on the spectrum to help them in the community with uh, social skills, maybe sports, maybe music, things that uh, the child might be able to do that maybe the family couldn't otherwise afford. The way to claim our stipend is the simple. It's a reimbursement program. You can go on our website. We're in partnership with the Mental Health Association of Orange County. And uh, there's some information on the back table, an orange slip of how to contact us. My Jason will say it best. He has some words of encouragement to share. So I would like to introduce Jason Orzel. Luther King Jr., life's most persi persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Keep that in mind. County Executive Newhouse has worked very hard in Orange County to make a difference for families and businesses. I watched his state of county speech on his website and I learned that he's created many opportunities for jobs, cut down on tax dollars, encourages local purchases and par partnerships, has helped grow the film industry, and has cut down on the time it takes for local vendors to get paid by 75% as of 2015. He has also helped two homeless vet veterans form part from Port Jervis Fine Apartments this winter. He has also got much needed funding restored, resorted for rape victims, which, has cut last, which was cut last year. In our home, my parents and I work hard helping my younger brother, Eric. I teach Eric how to be a good brother, couple with homework, deep in swimming, covering his sneeze for crying out loud, and uh, 
Soon, to teach him to ride a bicycle with two, with only two wheels, no training wheels. Together, we enjoy living room wrestling, video games, and spending, or speeding around campgrounds and golf cart that he would drove last time when we went to a trip, which I'll mention later. At the playground, Eric has great gross motor skills. He climbs up and over monkey bars instead of just hanging or swinging across. He can climb scaling walls and doorways by just using his hands and feet. Eric is often known to teach us other ways of doing things. We hope that always serves him well. Another strength for Eric is his amazing memory. He also has a great uh, way of spelling on something we don't have in common. Four years ago, Eric was here and he, at this meeting and he said the alphabet backwards. And he was, he's now nine and he can still do that. Can anyone here say the alphabet backwards? <laughs> Once, <laughs> twice, <laughs> one, three times. So, it's a man in the tie dye shirt. <laughs> Most children with autism have challenging socializing. Eric does not initiate communication and, and he needs encouragement to approach other children playing. However, he is a great friend. Eric and his best friend Max were the recycle team in their class and they have a secret handshake and cheer when they, before they go recycling. He struggles with his fine motor skill abilities and does not like to write because that takes hand strength and has low, he has low muscle tone. Cutting on the lines is also hard. He can cut out the shapes, but then I usually help him getting on the lines. He can cut up. He also has a short attention span, and it's hard for him to stay focused. In general, he also seems to hold back on certain things, like going with the deep end. He's not quite comfortable with it yet, but we're working on it. Eric is very smart, but he takes a lot longer to learn things sometimes. If you, if you know someone with autism, please be patient. It probably will take that person longer to learn, listen, and respond. Family time is very important. We have to be mindful when we make family plans, because since Eric has some challenges, he does not like loud sounds or large crowds. We travel with headphones to help reduce the annoying sounds. Last fall, we went to Watkins Glen State Park for a three-night campout. Eric and I had lots of fun pooling, hiking, fishing, and driving around town through the rain half the time. Last fall, we also uh, Eric, our family has challenges going out since Eric has food allergies, but we decided to go to a Mexican restaurant. We sat down, Eric had some toys to play with, and it was a, little, a great experience. This was the first over two hour trip our family has made all together, and it was special. You would think that someone that had a trip that is more than four hours would be hard for someone with, or a person with autism, but it was harder for me to do it than him. Fun enough. About two months later, we went to Vermont to leaf peep, day hike, and hang out in my friend's Vermont house. Recently, over spring break, we went camping at a KOA in a log cabin for two nights. This is where we got a tour around the campsite in a golf cart by one of the workers there, and Eric drove it for half the time. And that was a first. We've gone camping a lot, but this is the first time in a log cabin, not to mention it was Riverside, which was super cool. These trips are milestones for us. I hope Pamela likes to share this thought. Some people think inside the box. Some people think outside the box. Autistic people with autism think about the box. And Eric likes to play inside the box. I and some of my friends have been volunteers for a mock for, since we were six years old. I really think it's important to support people who need assistance. I have made some good friends because of volunteering. Thank you for having me speak today. I would want to ask everyone to support laws, events, and care causes that help families affected by autism and other disabilities. And in closing, please ask yourself every day, what are you doing for others? Job, Jason. Thank you to you, Debbie, Nadja, and everybody on the behalf of the legislature for this awareness um, and the fight that you continue to do. So, uh, the county exec is going to present a proclamation. Uh, it's a little lengthy, so I don't know if you want to read the. I, top think, the I think it's very hard for anybody up here to sum up what Jason said. And uh, we're lucky in Orange County, uh, and we, the legislature, and I have, have uh, heard Jason before. And we're very obviously close with uh, uh, the Mental Health Association, and uh, your mother was actually the, the uh, paparazzi of the last center. Uh, 
but we do appreciate everything you everything you said is is uh, I, I think you summed it up better here. So maybe next year when we do a proclamation, we'll have you actually help draft this. But uh, you are really a role model, Jason, and what a good brother you are uh, to take care of your, your your brother and make sure that he has a great life and, and is part of our community. When I was younger, I never even knew what autism was. It was only about the, l the last 10 years, Carol Klein, our family court judge, she couldn't be here today, she lost her mother this week. Um, but she was the one that um, brought me into and explained to me what, what it is and how it affects people. And now that I'm a father of three young uh, kids, when we go to other events and other families, um, and on a regular occasion, we'll meet with a different family and one of their children will be on the spectrum. And now we're able to identify and uh, able to to work with them and see how they can be active members of our community. And uh, I think it's wonderful what you're doing, Jason. It's really all about awareness and opening up these doors of opportunity. And the walkathon, I went a couple years ago too, and the district attorney was with me, the county clerk, and it was really enlightening. And what a fun day and all the stuff you do afterwards. So, uh, Jason, you really are a role model. And I know everybody on this stage is proud of you, so, as well as your mother. Uh, so thank you so much. I'm gonna present you with this proclamation and uh, I'm not going to read all the whereases, but I'll just say on the top it says Autumn Awareness Month in Orange County. It's signed by both the Chairman of the Legislature, Stephen Brescia, and myself. Thank you. Now, I just want to say, first of all, I apologize for being late. Um, I have a cold, but that's not the reason I'm late. There is an accident on 17A, so be careful going home. We'll pick you up uh, next time. Pick me up next time. <laughs> Uh, I just want to say that we've known this young man since he was six years old, and that to see him here every day uh, being so poised and so confident and uh, understanding the roles of siblings, uh, of individuals who have uh, autism or are on the spectrum is really very important. And as you said, uh, Tony said, nobody can say better than, than he does. But I think when I see somebody like Jason, it really restores our faith in the next generation of awareness, integration, and full participation of all individuals with disabilities as full participants of our community. So thank you, Jason. Thank you, the legislature. And thank you, uh, Steve Newhawk, County Executive, for always supporting us in this initiative and the family, Orzells, and all the MHB staff. Thank you and apologize for being late. Thank you. And shout out to Dad. Okay, I'm uh, <laughs>